came through here, they will... Well... The devil's door is in the wrong place. It should have been the first one, so let's open that one. Brick wall. Here. Oh. Also, do I just have to do it in the right order? Okay, devil. Game. True. Here. I'm not dead, I hope. Come in, come in. There's no need to be afraid. I, I don't buy. It. Come in already. I might need your help with something. There are mostly horror books in the these shows. More than half of them are written by Stephen King. I guess Joe is a fan. Dead. This bed is rather fancy. It reminds me of beds they have in cheesy country hotels. Okay, Joe, what the hell? You need my help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? A self-obsessed schizophrenic wife killer. What? You thought I... No. 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 I, I never hurt my wife. All this time I've been trying to save her. Well, fine. Let's say I believe you. Why wouldn't you? Look around you. This is not normal, okay? If you don't mind, I'll only trust myself for now. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if I can trust even myself. Where are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know, it's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. I'm sorry, I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now, maybe longer. Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry and she tells me she's not done yet i've cooked her a meal but she ignores me she never likes what i cook but what's that got to do with me if you talk to her i'll show you the way out i, I promise just go in there and tell her tell her she looks fine she's always so careful about looking perfect okay okay i'll see what i can do So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Goodbye, Joe. That's all right. I already saw, see some code here. Look at these numbers with the hands below them. There are 1, 2, 3 and 4 in here. And there's a 5 hidden a bit further away to the right. And look at the, the hands. 
Most of them are made with the right hand, except for three, it's made with the left hand. So right, right, left, right, right. Hmm. Don't remember what that's for, but let's try to remember it. Someone bled on this chair too. What about this wardrobe? There are bloody handprints all over it. Panel. The metal cover is tightly screwed in place. I can't remove it by hand. Okay, I'm going to turn my volume down right now. Because I remember what is going to happen now. And I recommend covering your ears as well. Or I'm going to be a good person and turn the volume down myself in editing. Just be ready. Is this Joe's wife? Poor oh, I woman, this is horrible. Hello? Misery. I is that what you said? Ah, uh, still creeps me out. After all this time. There's nothing special about it. Okay, panel. The metal cover is tightly screwed in place. I can't remove it by hand. So I have to open it somehow. Anything sharp here, perhaps? Anything to the right? No. There is a book titled Misery here. Is that what she meant? It's a long shot, but I might as well try. Let's open the book and there's a screwdriver inside. A part of me so expected a gun, but this will come in handy for sure. Okay, so that's where we need a code, so... Right. Right again. Then left. And two times more right. This isn't my wife. It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power leak, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! Ah, uh, this is a tough one. I just obey him. Because he's threatening my life, but... First, I am immortal. And second, this game... Kind of wants me to disobey all this. So, I won't do that. Kill me if you want, but I Let's won't not do get that. mixed up in this. You're with her? I should have guessed. I can't trust you. You're better off dead. <laughs> Are you alright, Mr. Zane? You look like you...
you've seen a ghost. I kind of did. I... something strange happened. Maybe I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone, so... Did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me, was it... Carrot? <sighs> nope. Carrot would be one of the last options I'd choose. I think. I went with cucumber. I told that. And I had a second option in my head, which was a beetroot. Which is a bit obscure, so it's hard to guess. No, sorry. And I kind of oh, expected for her to say odd. Tomato. Are you tomato. Sure? Yes. However, you pronounce it. Celery. Now let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. Please do not start to argue that. Tomato, tom or tomato, is not a vegetable. For me, it is. I really wouldn't put it in a fruit salad. If you go on the screwdriver for the can of paint now, still don't understand why couldn't we just use scissors? Eh, adventure game logic. Done, I can pick it up now. This is it. We've got all we need. Great! Are you going to tell me about the Cat Widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. He hated his neighbors too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day, all but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day, her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp, dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. 
She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs, and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger. Rage, even. Her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge. For blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed. A cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat. And her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse, those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers, but there was someone she had to see first, someone special, someone she really hated the most. As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat, as he lived alone. He usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. I like where this is going. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. Nobody there. He almost felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. So we got get to choose how it goes. In the nearby wall there was a giant shadow of cat. There was a shadow of cloaked figure. Let's go with a shadow with a cloaked figure. He noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. This is cat killer, cat skull. The writing seem a bit cheap, so let's go with the cat skull. There was a cat's skull stuck on the seat of his bike. He had a passion for trains, although he hated being a train driver. He had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong, and that something had entered his home now too. For me, it would be even scary if the remote control wasn't missing and the train just went on its own. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. A giant blood soaked zombie cat sat on his bed? What? Cat Widow is here, was written all over the wall. 
Your know, first option seems completely ridic ridiculous. But I already told my opinion on the writings, so cat zombie it is. A giant, blood soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. <laughs> now that's really stupid. Fair enough. That didn't really happen. Everyone knows there's no such thing as giant zombie cats, right? They would what be terrifying really though. What happened was this. Just imagine if cats were giant. They would be absolute killers. And zombies as well. But human zombies eat humans. So do zombie cats eat other cats? I think I'm always thinking it. Cat Widow is here. Was written all over the wall. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor, was there someone there with him? Oh. His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver. He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper. More like a her. She was there, in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. A shotgun is a bit extreme. I don't want to kill him. Though I think we might still have the shotgun from the pest control guy. She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him. His knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then... He fainted. Ha ha ha! 
Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Oh, man, that was masterful. I, so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop and all I found was a load of porn. Let's cross him off the list. Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right, we need some sleep. Really wish there was an elevator in this building. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Oh, fuck. Eye of Adam. Flat five. That's the old guy. It can't be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. Ooh. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. It's just you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be all right. I will always love you. You know that. I'm going to make you all better. Joe, what the hell? I did kill him in my downfall. Please reduce die. Oh, shit, spoilers. Oh, fuck, that's creepy. What the hell? I wanted to see my game when this happened. Shit. I almost shot my pants. Here we are, can I see my game now? Yes, I can. Oh, you guys ready? Yeah. 
a fish tank. I don't like the look of that water. There isn't a single fish in the tank. Uh, it does look a bit strange. Just look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Look, there's a painting of all the human organs. That's not the best sign. This flat is really colorful. It's like Christmas here. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here. And he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. But what choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? I guess we shall. God, Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. We should have another one at home. For both of us. Yeah, that did look suspicious. Fuck. It's too late! Shit. Oh, shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No. No, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No, I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... 
been a great friend, Mrs. A. <laughs> I cannot even choose the father. Alright. Oh yeah, his excuse is that he's old anyway. Mitzi's excuse is that she's got cancer. But I've got no excuse. I'm immortal. So... I don't have a reason to... I mean, <clears throat> I don't have a reason to keep the mask, really. I will just resurrect. I don't know what pick to keep the mask as their first option. No. You've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Another one. Oh, I'm telling her. <laughs> Guess that's not a nice way to die, really. Slow death. And we're here again. And if we're going to meet the Queen of Maggots, I don't trust them also. I'll better save. Alright. This looks a bit different now. The sky is not as orange. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Yeah, one last parasite. I know. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life, extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that- Shut up! 
just shut up, you ugly bitch. Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. Um, I was weighing, but I'm pretty sure that one candle is for me and one is for Mitzi. By the way, we are fucked up. We blow out one, we die. We blow out the other. We live in depression. And I'm pretty sure we are supposed to refuse now. If I want to get the best ending. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle. It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. That was easier than expected. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Mm -hmm. That's Why a good onions? one. onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Maybe Alive, you're like dead as well. <laughs> ever happened. Sorry. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. It's a bit strange, Mitzi already took her gas mask off. Or perhaps she opened the windows while I was out. You're... You're the Eye of Adam? A pathetic... Wheelchair bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you. Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You fucking murderer! Oh, Tonight, I didn't it's know your you turn to had die. Again. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! 
anything! Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum! What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then how did he post all that stuff online? What the? How? How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. What? You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? That's stupid. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Okay, look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm not sure when exactly, but I... I think I do remember... That... Oxygen explosions were mentioned some time before in the game. Because I don't really want her to stop from killing him. Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out as soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me! I want you to see what you've done! The pain you've caused me! Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No! I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to! Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it! You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just 
Leave me alone! Hmm, I'd say... Just use a knife. God is truth. It wouldn't be that hard. But you just... Must use a gun. You know what? I've saved. I kind of want to see what happens. This person like that. Though... I have to... Give him credit for... Taking out so many lives. With just an eye. He deserves to die. Look at all these pictures of his victims. It takes pride, it takes pride in it. Fine. Kill him. This is from Jack. Well, we've got an achievement for that. And the threat was real. Okay, so then the guy got just now was kind of a bittersweet one. It wasn't all bad. Susan somehow survived, and I think that was the ending I saw before. At least it was very similar. So let's see what the good ending is. I think it's called the golden one. Also, the game did. The thing I really hate when it just closes the game window when it ends. Okay. So all this dialogue, I'll just skip it. Can't you let your mind just Okay. The adaption now. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? It was really. What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. Huh. Yeah, we could just turn off the computers. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Plus, how will he survive without his father? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I Think about that. My friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this? Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. I think about this punishment is even worse. Home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He said do it to a lot of people and they didn't. Look how it ended up for them. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. 
I never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. I guess we both need each other equally. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. Yeah, she's alive. I was worried there for a second I'd get the same ending. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. 
And speaking of Mitzi, well, I don't know what happened. I guess I never will. But against all odds, she just got better. Maybe it's because of that last candle. Or some other things I did that year. I don't really care. She's still here. That's all that matters to me. Every time I visit my daughter's grave, she comes too. We don't have to talk. It's just nice to have somebody there with me. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. You open up your heart to all the things you feel before. Kick copyrighted soundtrack? No, thank you. So, in the end. Susan basically became the opposite of I of Adam. You could say he was driving people to suicide and she tried to prevent them from it. You know what it would be crazy if someone actually made a blog named the Cat Lady or something like that and helped people deal with depression? Well, at least. A Twitter account to make a tweet from time to time. It would be a really nice case of breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, now I'm really excited for the third, the last game in the series. I know it's definitely in development. I think I saw some screenshots of it already. And I have a vague idea of what it might be about. Of course, I'll not say anything in case I am wrong or if I'll spoil something if it is correct. Huh. Now I'll have to think of something new to play. Won't I? Well, it's been fun playing this. I don't know if fun is the most fitting world, but today I enjoyed the experience. So I've been your host, Nam the Big D, aka Scamit Boundaries, goodbye. <laughs>